So uh, talking about the larynx on this model, uh, here is the larynx, like that. Okay, uh, so this is the hyoid bone, of course. Uh, body, uh, lesser horns or cornua and greater horns. Uh, now uh, the larynx consists of uh, three unpaired cartilages, the cricoid cartilage, the thyroid cartilage, and we also have the epiglottis here, or epiglottic cartilage, but it's not being shown. Uh, okay, and uh, of course, uh, we've got three uh, paired cartilages uh, attaching to the uh, upper border of the cricoid are the uh, arytenoid cartilages. Attaching to the upper border of the arytenoids are the corniculate cartilages, and in the uh, quadrangular membrane, which is attached to the vestibular folds, uh, we have the uh, cuneiform cartilages. Uh, okay, so now um, um, between the thyroid uh, cartilage and the hyoid, we've got the thyrohyoid membrane. Uh, this membrane forms thickenings in the median and lateral portions. In the thyrohyoid membrane, we've got a perforation for the superior laryngeal artery, which is a branch from the superior thyroid artery, which is a branch from the external carotid artery, and also for the internal laryngeal branch of the superior laryngeal nerve, which is itself a branch from the vagus nerve. Okay, so the superior laryngeal nerve divides into internal branches and external branch, the external branch will supply the um, cricothyroid muscle here. Uh, okay, and now talking about parts of the thyroid cartilage, uh, it has got right and left laminae. Of course, it has got external surfaces and internal surfaces. Uh, here, uh, this V-shaped structure is the uh, superior thyroid notch. And here, this is the laryngeal prominence, okay? So if the spot is on this, this is the laryngeal prominence here, laryngeal prominence, and this is the uh, superior thyroid notch. Uh, this is the oblique line giving attachment to uh, three muscles. Uh, we've got the uh, thyrohyoid muscle, we've got the sternothyroid muscle, and we also have the inferior uh, constrictor muscle of the pharynx. Here, uh, the cricoid cartilage, uh, we can see that the uh, anterior uh, aspect is thinner. The posterior aspect, however, is broader or thicker. Uh, here, uh, we've got a uh, ridge. Okay, this is a ridge in the posterior surface. And these are the depressions. Here, right and left depressions. Uh, okay, uh, of course, these were facets for the uh, arytenoid cartilages. And here, uh, see? Uh, this is arch. You can call it arch of the cricoid cartilage. And uh, this is lamina. But it's really not very important though. Uh, okay, now uh, between the cricoid cartilage and the thyroid cartilage, we've got the cricothyroid ligament, uh, which can be divided into median and lateral portions, but it's really not very important. Uh, okay, and here, uh, these are the tracheal rings, they are C shaped. Uh, but the cricoid cartilage is the only complete ring structure in the airway. Uh, okay, this is of course site for the tracheallus uh, muscle. And of course, uh, this is uh, the trachea, so behind we've got the esophagus. Uh, okay, and uh, here, 
Here, uh, between the first ring of the trachea and the cricocotylus, we've got the cricotracheal ligaments. Of course, uh, anterior to the second, third, and fourth tracheal rings, we've got isthmus and the thyroid glands. Talking about the larynx on this model, uh, here's the larynx, beginning from here, all the way down until the level of the C6. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, at the level of the C6, the larynx and pharynx become the trachea and esophagus. Uh, okay, so uh, the larynx consists of uh, three uh, unpaired cartilages. Uh, they are the epiglottis, uh, thyroid cartilage, and cricoid cartilage. Uh, the cricoid cartilage is thinner anteriorly and thicker or broader posteriorly. The epiglottis is attached to the hyoid by the hyoepiglottic ligament. The thyroid cartilage is attached to the hyoid bone by the thyroepiglottic ligament or actually the thyroepiglottic membrane. But this membrane forms a thickening in the midline which is called the median thyroepiglottic ligament. Attaching the cricoid cartilage to the thyroid cartilage is the cricothyroid ligament. It has got median and lateral portions so we can call this the median cricothyroid ligament. Here this is the first tracheal ring. The second and third tracheal rings. So, this is where the trachea begins to form along with the esophagus. Uh, so, this is the uh, cricotracheal ligament here. This is isthmus of the thyroid gland, which should stand in front of the second, third, and fourth tracheal rings. So, there should be a mistake in this model anyway. Now, the cavity of the larynx is divided into three parts. Here, this is called the vestibule. And by the way, this is the laryngeal inlet. Okay? Here, uh, this is the laryngeal ventricle or sinus. Uh, it's formed uh, between two folds. This is the vocal fold uh, for the vocal ligament or the vocal cord and this is the vestibular fold for the vestibular ligament of course. So here we've got the arytenoid cartilage. Uh, this is the cricoid cartilage. At the upper border it has facets for the arytenoid cartilages. Of course at the upper border of the uh, arytenoid cartilage uh, we've got facet for the corniculate cartilages and then above that we've got cuneiform cartilages in the quadrangular membrane but that's not very visible here so this is the uh, part of the arytenoid cartilage okay uh, this is the midline so this should be the membrane attaching both cricoid cartilages together uh, of course in the cricoid uh, cartilage uh, anteriorly we've got the vocal process of course for attachment of the vocal cord and uh, posteriorly we've got the muscular process uh, we've got two depressions the inferior depression uh, for vocalis or cricothyroid muscle and the superior one uh, for the uh, vestibular ligament here vestibular ligament okay and uh, this is the infraglottic space in the cavity of the larynx So, as we said, this is the epiglottis. Uh, this was the arytenoid cartilage. So, this is the epiglottic fold. And this is the cariform fossa. Here on this model, uh, we can see the arytenoid cartilages. 
this is the epiglottis so this is the airy epiglottic fold airy epiglottic fold and of course this is the pariform fossa here pariform fossa